Hello guys, welcome to Infinity Collectors. I'm Draco and I got another unboxing for you today. And as usual, I hurt my hand, so I have a bandage on it. I've been doing way too much car work projects too, besides making these videos. Anyways, I got the X-Force Deathlock Uncanny. Is this Uncanny? Yes, it says Uncanny. Uncanny X-Force Deathlock, okay? I like the X-Force stuff. I love the colors. I'm kind of a little bit of a darker-esque, heavy metal kind of dude myself, so I like uh, the blacks and the grays. I like the coloring of all that. Um, we're gonna go ahead and compare this to uh, the old one I have here without dropping all my other figures. So we're gonna take down this Deathlock. Uh, I already pulled down his accessories over here, and we're gonna take a look at this one. Um, Here's the side artwork on the package, excuse me. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that looks great. Same thing on the other side. I like that artwork. I'm not sure who's doing the artwork if that was taken directly from the comics, but uh, on the back, it sounds like this was taken from the comics. The X-Force joins forces with a rogue Deathlock unit to face an army of Deathlock cyborgs. Wow. I was never like a... Deathlock was interesting because he was like one of the first Toy Biz figures I got in the 90s and I, I liked the little figure. I never was a big fan of uh, the original colors though. And I, I know it's like, oh, I'm do uh, another Deathlock figure, right? Like, is that what we're going to do? But, uh, you know, it does, it looks like it comes with all the same stuff too, except you get like an extra gun. That's all I can see right off the bat. So um, you don't get, with the other uh, Deathlock, you got like a Build-A-Figure piece. And with this one, you don't get that Build-A-Figure piece. So it looks like they threw in like an extra like shotgun thing. It looks like the same shotgun that came with uh, with Cable. I'll have to compare that one. one. I'll have to see what which one that was from, what other figure it was from. Because it looks like a completely repaint figure. It was a recycled figure. But anyways, let's check them out and do a side-by-side -side comparison uh, between the two. Uh, I'm also noticing that the American flag is on the, the Deathlock there. And then you got like the X-Force uh, symbol on that one right there. So we're going to check it out. Surgery time. Without hurting myself. I already hurt my hand earlier. So try not to do that again. I need my hands for these videos. All right, do a little side opening action here. Oof, I like that, that stupid little piece of paper they put in there. I love that background. I love the colors. I love the, just the colors. That's why I got it. I wasn't gonna really get this one and review it. I can't buy every single figure out there. Like, that'd be crazy. But keep subbing to this channel because it might help me out in the future and then I can afford more figures and do more reviews. So I really like that background on the backdrop and the coloring. Um, this one, when you first look at it, uh, no hidden little surprises or anything after you get it out of the package. It's it's pretty straightforward, and you're just getting um, a shotgun, and then that Gatling gun, and that crazy looking pistol that he has. So let's uh, let's compare the uh, little like Gatling gun to the old one. So this is the this is the new one, and I'm I'm gonna put these all in the box to do a side by side comparison. And this is the old one. Now we have some different coloring. Uh, the new one is black, and the old one is gray. So we'll look at those side by side and see uh, any other differences we can find. And then I'm gonna pull out, this is the old um, and new. These are taped in there pretty good in a second here. Well, they're not taped. It's kind of like woven through there. Woo! All right, so this is the old one and this is the new one. I'll try not to use my broken hand. I'll try to use my good hand. So uh, the old one is brown and the new one's like this see-through clear, like neon yellowish green. And we'll look at these Gatling guns side by side uh, here and do a little looky-loo and see if we can see any, any other differences in it. But it, to me, it looks like there's there's just a coloration difference between them. Um, and then we have the uh, the pistol, and this is the pistol in uh, the old one. And it's, uh, it's the same color as the other gun. It's a gray. And then the new one is black. The new one is black. But what I noticed which is really cool, is that it's got like a red laser sight, little red painted dot on the inside, whereas the old one, the old one does not, does not have that. So that's kind of cool that it's, it's got that in there. And we'll put that and we'll look at that up close in detail and see what that looks like. So uh, between the guns and everything, I'm noticing just the paint is different on them uh, and the coloring. And then uh, they added a little bit of a more little detail to the uh, pistol with the scope on it, with a little red dot. So that's, that's something, I guess. It's like, uh, I mainly bought this, like I said, for the color gun. This is the shotgun. Um, and it's just a standard shotgun. What's weird is it's like a slightly different gray. And I'm going to see if you can see what I'm talking about uh, in, uh, in the box. We'll put it in the photo box here and do some real close-up shots of it. But it looks like it's just, it's a different color gray. Like it's a literally like 
oh, they don't get a build a figure piece. It's just a repaint figure we're throwing out there. Let's just throw this gun in there kind of thing. So it's that like kind of double barrel shotgun. Not sure what figure it comes from. It's a cool looking gun, but uh, you probably can't see it from here, but you'll be able to see it uh, on my shots that I, I put in here. But it's like a different color gray. It's really a different color gray. Like um, the other, it looks like a, they, it's almost the same gray, but it's not. It's like a different type of paint. So I don't know if they just recycled that from another one or what. Okay. Anyways, let's get, let's get Deathlock out. Okay. What are the differences we see here? Let's look at them side by side real quick. Let's look at them side by side real quick. I spy with my little eye. Okay. You got the X-Force logo on the chest. Um, that's different from the American flag. On um, the backpacks, the backpacks are exactly the same. Um, everything I can see about the figure on the back side, literally everything, is that they're the same. Exactly the same figure, same hands, same arms, same backpack, same utility belt. Uh, here you can check out the back side of these two as well. And they are literally the same. I'm just really looking for some differences, but this looks like a straight uh, repaint. I'm not seeing any details that are different whatsoever. Um, the eye on the new one is red, on the old one it's yellow, and the tubing that goes to his chest is the same, the stripes are the same, um, yep, everything on the belt is exactly the same, the gun holster, yeah, literally everything, there's nothing different that I can find, if I miss something, you let me know, but from what I can see, these figure, this figure is a repaint to all hell, and they gave you one extra little gun, which is fine because it, I'm, you know, that depends on what you want to do, right? But I like, um, I like the X Force colors. I wish he actually a little, had a little more black on him, and he doesn't. And it looks like I don't know if that's on, intentional. And I'll try to get some shots of it. But on the knee pad, I got a bunch of like silver paint on this knee, and uh, I don't know if that's just paint application issues or what. I'll get some shots of that as well. Um, let me see if I remember how the old Gatling gun goes here. Let's get all the weapons in him. He's got that pistol hand. And his hand is super stiff. But I got it in there. That's good. And I'm not even really sure how they want you to like have the Gatling gun in his hand and whatnot. But uh, I kind of do whatever. So, and it, what's what's even more weird is he only has one hand that can hold a, hold a gun. The other hand is like an open, like you can't put you can't put anything in this hand, it just falls out. Like you can maybe dangle this here, like that, but it doesn't, it doesn't, like they, you don't get any extra hands with it. And you get a bunch of guns, but not the hands to be able to hold multiple guns or really hold the, the Gatling gun. Like this is more like of a support hand for the top of the Gatling gun or something like that. And the Gatling gun doesn't even have like that top handle support. It literally only has the one, the one handle and that you feed the belt through and make it look all, all cool, you know? Let me see if I can actually get that in there. That was one of the things about this gun I liked was that you could put, you know, you could put that on there and do do like the whole Gatling gun thing like that. Um, so, th so that's what I'm not real. So those are the two things I don't like about the figure is that you don't have enough hands to do what you need to do with the guns they gave you. One of the guns is slightly different slash off gray and that's all you get. And really, like when you get a repaint, I'm like I'm expecting to see a couple more accessories and things like that, especially when it's not a build-a-figure um, version. So um, a, a little disappointed with this one. I, I got it because I like the color. I like the color, and you get an extra gun, cool. But the gun's slightly off color, and um, it's a straight repaint, and he doesn't have enough hands to kind of do everything with the guns. So other than that, I really like it because the, the, the coloring on the old one is just not. It's not my favorite. Um, I really do like the X-Force coloring. I really like the X-Force coloring. Especially like the Wolverine X-Force coloring, um, X, X-23, and uh, just kind of the coloring that they have with the whole X-Force line. I just, like I said, I really like those darker colors and things like that. So, pretty short review, straightforward, different, it's a straight repaint, nothing really extra or, or whatnot. Um, the packaging I noticed didn't really have, like it's not part of the 80 year, it doesn't have the 80 year badge or anything like that. Um, if you guys need it, I forgot to kind of show you there, but there's the there's the barcode. I'm sure it's out there online everywhere, but uh, if you need that, there you go. You can have that as well. And uh, not, that's, I don't know, nothing, nothing too spectacular about that one. Just got a different figure with a different color that I kind of wanted. So, so anyways, that's it for this review. I'll catch you guys next time. See ya!